not only you're going to commit to doing that while you're here in the training, but you're going to commit that for the next month, the commitments you make while you're here, you're going to commit to call each other every week and see if they're doing those commitments, right? And all of a sudden, guess what happened? We went a lift of about 30% of the business outcomes that we were looking for from what we were previously getting because when two people look at each other in the eye and say, yeah, I'll commit to doing that, right? You increase about 30% the likelihood that someone's going to do it. People will change for other people before they'll change for themselves. Right? Does that make sense to you? How many of you have, you know, know what you need to do, but you don't do it? And we sit and we do it anyway, but on the other hand, if you make a commitment to somebody, how many of you try to honor your commitments? Right, not that guy. He's like, no. I don't. So that built my second book, Who's Got Your Back? Because Who's Got Your Back? Fundamental Research, after five years of research on that book, what we realized is that the fundamental tipping point of success isn't just people. But the fundamental tipping point of success is, do you have three people who won't let you fail? Now, 60% of Americans say that no one has their back. 60% of Americans say that no one has their back, of which 50% of those individuals are married, right? So no wonder we have the divorce rates that's above 50%. Now, someone who has your back has four fundamental attributes. Number one, they care. Lots of relationships care. Number two, they will work their ass off to make you successful when you're not around. They'll be thinking about you, they'll be understanding you, and they'll be working on your behalf when you're not around, making you successful. Ooh, now we start to have a shortfall. Don't have to raise your hand, but how many people know very dear friends that you would have hoped would care enough to make, help you be successful and understand your dreams and goals, but that's not their priority? Unfortunately, how many of you are married to that person? Keep your hands down. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Are you really partners? Are you really partners with the most important relationships in your life? Are they caring about your success and helping you through that? And then on the basis of the foundation of that relationship, what's then more important is how many people really tell each other the truth. We all know that the truth and the abundance of truth and the wisdom of the people around us is going to be the critical dimension to you breaking through your challenges because people will see you in the micromanagement, the micro moment of doing something wrong and somebody will say, hey, wait, stop, stop, stop. I love you, I care for you, I know where you want to go. Stop that. I love you, I care for you, I know where you want to go. How about trying this? But instead, we're conflict avoidant. We're so, conflict avoidance is the number one eroder of shareholder value. We're finishing the research now based on large corporations and executive teams that have a high degree of, of conflict avoidance, people who won't tell the truth in a meeting. How many people have been in meetings where you leave the meeting and that's when the real conversation starts? <laughs> you hear that? You hear that? That's because that's so true to us and in reality, that's the greatest eroder of shareholder value. Now, if you're the kind of person and you're the kind of leader that does not walk into a room creating an environment around themselves, creating the relationship that people will tell you the truth, guess who's mediocre? You are. If you are creating an environment around yourself that is not inviting the horrible, difficult, challenging truth, guess who's going to be mediocre? You are. Now, who wants to hear that? Who wants to hear the truth? And by the way, because most of them are wrong. At least that's what we think. But who cares?